Hey guys, today I'm really excited because I will be reviewing the Lamely doll. Before I start this review, I'd just like to give you guys a little bit of background. The Lamely doll is a fashion doll designed by Nicolay Lam. It's designed to have the average proportions of a 19 year old girl, so it's not like a regular fashion doll that is technically pretty skinny um, proportionally to an average human being. But I'm still a big fan of all different kinds of fashion dolls. Just because I have her doesn't mean I'm not going to collect regular fashion dolls anymore. I just thought she was a very, very pretty doll and I like the idea behind her. Um, but even though, like there's a lot of debate and arguments against different groups of people about Lamley dolls and regular fashion dolls. There are a lot of people that think regular fashion dolls are harmful and make girls think they have to be skinny, but I don't necessarily believe that's true. In my experience, a lot of times when a little kid will see a fashion doll, they'll just think, oh wow, she's so pretty, I like her hair, I like her outfit. I know when I was little, that's what I thought about fashion dolls. I never looked at them and thought, wow, they're so skinny, I want to be like that. Or I never just noticed like the fact that they were skinny compared to like what average human proportions would be. But I do realize for some girls, they'll be really happy about this doll because they'll think, wow, she has a normal body, I look, I kind of look like her. I can definitely see how that would be exciting and really fun. But I just think that um, regular fashion dolls are okay and that body image and what a girl thinks about herself has a lot to do with other things and not just one fashion doll. So. What do you guys think about this issue? You guys can comment it below. I'm a big fan of Lamely, but I also don't oppose other fashion dolls. So here's the box she came in. It says fragile, so that's nice that they are making sure your dolls come um, nice and like protected. And there's a bunch of order information right here. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to open this box somehow. I'm gonna start up here. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so that was easy enough. Oh, all right. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is her actual box. For some reason I thought somehow this was her box and it folded out, but I don't know, I'm, I'm stupid. Um, wow, she's so pretty. So guys, here is the Lamely packaging. I love the artwork so much. I think it's just so pretty. There's like a nice nature um, tree background going on. There's a little pond on the back. It's a very pretty box. And I will show you guys the top and bottom and the rest of the box and closer up right now. So guys, right up here it says exclusive first edition. And then here's Lamely. It looks like a watercolor painting or something to me, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that, but that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. And she has a suitcase with London, New York, Canada, Paris, I think um, the kangaroo would be Australia. And here it says Lamely, ages 3 and up, warning choking hazard thing. Here it says art and design, art and graphic design, Yelena Lam. Yelena, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but you did a gorgeous job designing this box. I love it. So beautiful. And then it says, made with the guidance and support of the Lamb family. Here it says Lamely. And then it says, this journey became possible with help from all of these different people. And 13,621 other backers from 62 countries. So a lot of people helped um, with this doll. I don't remember exactly what website it was on, but it was one of those like fundraiser things where people can donate money in order for something to happen. And so a lot of people donated money to help make Lamely exist. And here's some contact information. And on the bottom we have the barcode and Contents one doll one pamphlet and some other information 
And then there's the top of the box, it's just a picture, like part of the picture. So now I'm going to open her up. I'm so excited. Let's see. So right here, there's this little tab. And then it says, hello, bonjour. So it says hello in a bunch of different languages. It says, it was an adventure of a lifetime. I'd like to share some moments of my journey with you. So there's this little book here. And it has a suitcase packed with things. And it's just this little pamphlet. Let's see. It just talks about her different adventures. And there's some artwork. And then there's also some stuff on the back. And then here, um, it says, what's next? Name me, make it official at Lamley.com slash passport. So her name's actually not Lamley. I'm pretty sure that's just the brand name. And then you can like go online and name your doll. I don't know if I'm what I'm going to name mine, but if I decide, I'll tell you guys in a later video. And then right here where the pamphlet was, there's some other artwork. And then here is my Lamley doll. She's really pretty. I'm going to get her out of the box somehow. I was able to get her out of the package easy enough without breaking it. There were just these little metal twist tie holders that were kind of hard to cut with my regular scissors, but I got it to happen. So the box can stay intact if you're gentle. And um, now I just have to get this off. Witty Toys with Lynx Club, this is how they package their hair, and I'm sure a bunch of other fashion dolls do it. It's kind of annoying, but just to take off. So guys, here is Lamely out of her box. It did take me a little while to get that um, threaded plastic thing out of her hair, but overall it wasn't too bad. So here is her face. Her makeup is extremely light. I don't really think she has any eyeshadow. She kind of has these little lines over her eyes, so maybe that's kind of like her makeup. And then she has these like nude peach colored lips. And she has a very nice face. There's not much of a facial expression, but it's a nice face. She has brown eyebrows and her hair is incredibly soft, like everybody says. And I think it's I think it's two-toned. There might be a little maybe three-toned, but I see definitely two colors. So I'm pretty sure it's two-toned. There's like um like a light brownish, almost olive -y color, and then like a nice dark brown color. It's very pretty in the sun, or in light. So I love her hair. Her head um, can pivot 360 degrees, and she can like look up and down, kind of. Then for her shirts slash blouse, it's like um, an ombre faded jean shirt and there's pockets and little button embellishments on it and here it's folded over and there's a collar and the velcro is actually in the front right where it buttons down and then here's the back so that is her top and then here are her shorts they are also jean shorts and they looks like the velcro is in the front again and they're two-toned we have like a darker denim and then the lighter denim here which is just i think the other side but folded over and then there's a little embellishment there for her button and then here we have her shoes her shoes are white sneakers with yellow laces And yeah, now that I've shown you guys her outfit, I'm going to show you guys um, her articulation and what she looks like without any clothes on. But I do like her outfit a lot. I think it's pretty. So here is Lamely um, with her clothes off. So like I said, her head pivots already. Um, for her arms, 
They do bend at the elbow, although it might not seem like it at first. Her elbow is like one of the click joints that a lot of fashion dolls have on their knees. So that's interesting. And you might have to, um, they were a little stiff when I first started using them, but after you click them a couple times, they're pretty good. And then here is her hand. Her hand moves around like this, and 360 turn, rotation, it's a probably better word. So her knees are also like her arms, they're like click joints. So they move into a couple different places, looks like two, they have two places. So that's how those move, and then her feet also rotate, like such. And you can also take them off, like this. I imagine it's for easier dressing for different fashions. And they are selling different fashions online. They're not shipping till I think the end of January, but there will be other fashions. So you guys can check those out if you have a doll, Lamley doll, or want to get one. And then, if you want her to sit down, she sits like this. So, I kind of don't like it when fashion dolls bend like this. I like it when they can make more natural sitting poses. But she's still a very pretty doll, and she has pretty nice um, articulation for what she is. So guys, since her feet um, came off, I was wondering if her hands came off also, and they do, so I really like that because it seriously makes dressing so much easier. I wish, I wish all fashion dolls were like this because it just makes dressing so much easier. So I really love the fact that her arms and feet can be removed. And another good thing is that they go back in so easily, there's not really much effort required. They just snap back on really effortlessly. So that's also another really great thing about the removable feet and arms, hands. And right here is just a really quick comparison of Blamily to other fashion dolls. Um, I included a Winx doll, which is right here, and a Monster High doll, which is right here. Um, I assume a lot of people that are watching this probably have seen Monster High dolls in person or ha have them. Um, they're a lot more popular than Winx, so I figured I would add a Monster High doll in here with my comparison. So, just visually, some things you can see is Lamely is a little shorter than Musa and about the same as Frankie from Monster High. Um, her legs are a lot shorter, it seems, than other fashion dolls. And she's just a little wider all around, but that's because she is made according to an average 19 year old um, body proportions, which is a great thing. So um, yeah, these are just what she looks like next to other fashion dolls. So guys, that was my review on the Lamely doll from the Lamely company. I really like her a lot, um, so if you guys like her, you should definitely get her, but if you don't really like her, um, save your money for something else you want to get. If you guys like the doll but don't like her outfit, you should definitely check the Lamely website because they are there are a couple new outfits that are being released very soon, so you guys could buy her and get one of the outfits. So I'm really happy I got her. Some of my favorite things about her are her outfit, and I love her really soft hair, and her artwork is just beautiful. So just thanks again for watching my review, guys. And if you have any questions or comments about her, leave them in the description below, and I'll try to answer them as best as possible. And check out my links in the description and subscribe and like if you liked it. Bye guys.